Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Nico Price versus Alex Aloe Vera. Or Aloe Vera, I said Aloe Vera, but Aloe Vera, like the um, pineapple juice. But um, either way, <laughs> when I look at this fight between Price versus Aloe Vera, I really, as a matter of fact, this really could be a quick prediction. I mean, it is all quick prediction. This is the title of the video, but um, or the title of the video series. But when I look at um, Nico Price versus Alex Aloe Vera, I see one fighter that's still hungry and one fighter that's motivation is definitely questionable at this point. When Oliveira came in here, like the man that was still in the favelas or from the favelas, you definitely felt that energy with him. He had that dog in him. He had that fight in him. And he was scrappy. He was dangerous. He had a killer instinct. He was like a a wild dog. But now this man that looks civilized, like he'd been domesticated. And he don't have that dog in him. And I don't seem like, I guess compared to where he came from right now, it seems like he's, you know, he made it in life. But it's not the reality of that. You might have come from the favelas or came from straight piss in a bucket or piss in a ditch, piss on a, a, a mosh pit of dead animals in the, in the middle of um, Brazil, in some barren area or whatever it may be. Like very low, very making less than a dollar a month or something like that. Like very struggle, the real deal struggle, like beyond any you probably could find in America struggle. Like struggle you think is a joke. Like you can't like, if you're really struggling that hard, it came from that type of struggle. And now coming here, like you're getting all these luxuries, probably got a nice, you know, decent enough house, decent enough living, eating every day, eating good meals, training among other rich celebrities and fighters and whatnot, brushing apples with people. So you think um here now, but he's still very much not here because he can retire right now, has CTE or whatever it comes from, injuries that come with that MMA career, and he'd be broke again. You're not going to be as broke, ever be as broke as you were in Brazil or when you were in those favelas. You're never going to be that broke. But again, but he still ain't set for life to be dipping off like he is. He might have like, right, like, feel like he has hunger, but it's not showing as much as it once had showed. Definitely not. And I just feel like in the fights, he fades off now. It's become consistent that he does fade off. He might be able to still do just enough with, you know, with the ability he still has and a little bit of hunger and fire in his belly he still has to eke out some of these decisions sometimes. But it's not a, a recipe for success, I would say. And I feel like Nico Price, even though he's not really stacking wins together, he's definitely more hungry, and he's definitely one where I'm saying still seeing improvement from where I feel like Oliveira has plateaued. Probably plateaued about four or five years ago now. But plateaued, and with Nico Price still improving. Nico Price still hungry. Nico Price is always the guy that's going to push his pace as long as he's in your face. As long as you don't put him out, he's going to be push your pace and make you a fight. He's going he gonna to put you in a fight is what I'm saying. The man got a lot of fight in him, still got a lot of dog and a lot of hunger in him. And he's going to, like I said, he's going to fight until the ref stops it or... His opponent stops or he stops. Like, so the man's going to go. I feel like Oliver might have some success early. Early he might have success. But I feel like Nico Price is going to constantly be in space, constantly pressure him, constantly attacking him, constantly making him work. Take him out that first round. Put up a lot of volume. Put up a lot of work rate. And then, like, in that like second round, probably start to take the lead in the second round. If he hadn't already took it in the first round, the third round, I feel like that's fully going to be his round with a tired Alex Rivera. And Alex Rivera is going to be, you no know, taking punches on the chin, tired, hands dropping. And eating shots, probably winging, trying to look for those big shots with the little bit of gas he does have left, hoping to knock, go, you know, go for that home run hitter, but be missing and getting made to pay for that. And just make it to the um, decision, huffing and puffing, and losing another decision. So in this fight, I have Nico Price via decision.